Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of the console guide for uh, the 2016 port is the definitive edition and in today's episode we are going over the armor. So with armor we are we got two main types of armor. We got light armor and heavy armor. We're first going to go over heavy armor, no light armor, my apologies. And we're going to start out with cloth armor. Cloth armor is uh, the your basic uh, weak uh, set of armor. Put it on for you guys and it gives you 29% concussive and puncture, 80% radiation and 24% fire, uh, fire protection. Let me just... damn it. Uh, Grab that real quick, and you know, let me just take my take my jacket off. Ah, bad looking. So uh, you know, just get what do you expect out of cloth. It's yeah, and so it's just generally the weakest set. And then next in light armor, we have the the animal hide set, which is. Uh, each piece will give you 39% concussive, 20 to 34% puncture, 24% uh, radiation, and 24% fire protection. Let me just put my jacket back on because I get more cold. Uh, the leather will give you 42% concussive and 34% uh, puncture. Radiation is a 24%, but you get increased fire protection with leather. Yeah, let's uh, just grab. I'm just gonna grab the old uh, animal hide set real quick to show you what that all looks like. I will say, keep in mind that uh, you know, I'm using using level 600 for for an example on all these, so you can just so you have a, an idea of what you get overall, and so. Not a bad looking set, you know, look, looks pretty good for animal hide. And next to uh, and leather, let's put that on real quick. One thing to note about uh, animal hide uh, and uh, is that it gives you plus four insulation for every uh, piece of set you put on. Hey, you got a nice little, uh, Assassin's Creed looking uh, vibes with the hood, you know, really nice overall uh, set of uh, armor. Gonna throw these back in real quick. There's the cloth. And uh, that's about it for your, uh, for your light armor. And I'm gonna go into your heavy armor. Your first uh, set of uh, heavy armor is a uh, scrap, uh, which gives you each piece gives you 65% cast protection, 53 puncture, 38 radiation, but 48% fire protection. And uh, then you got iron, which uh, gives you 73, 68, 48, and 58% respective hood uh, protections. And then you got, let's see here, you got Heavy Bandit, and uh, one thing is to note with uh, this and military armor is uh, Heavy Bandit gives you 73, 68, 48, 58. Heavy Bandit is, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great guy. Got and by guess. Hang on, let me just deal with these head too. There we go. Sorry I'm about the old internet. Really, more you guys. We'll be right back. Ahem. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me.
There we are! Thank you very much, zombies! Anyways, ap finally, apology for those uh, technical difficulties who... Man, zombies. Military area will give you the most out of your mm, protection. And then there's also a SWAT, a SWAT helmet, uh, which uh, will uh, it'll give you, I think, about the same as it gives you the same as heavy bandit armor. And you also got a football helmet, which does a little bit more and will does a little bit worse. It was overall a good early game option if you find it. And I do count the uh, mining helmet, which is also heavy armor. And it's, uh, I'd say, about on par with the football helmet. So either way, just go with a mining helmet because you get light sources. And let's just see how scrap armor looks on the character. And... Scrap armor, you get a nice, uh, kind of kitchenware, license plates, you know, road signs and all that. Nice looking armor set. Let me just eat something real quick here. And we'll just throw on... Iron armor, which I personally like the best out of all of them. As I was saying earlier, it's like, uh... It's like, uh... The armor? These armors don't give you, uh... Weather protection, they just, uh, increase your... Uh, uh stats here just protect you, unlike the, uh, animal hide, who gives you plus four per piece, and also, uh, will give... And then leather will give you just plus one. Anywho's all, uh... Moving on to Heavy Bandit. Uh, what I was saying with Heavy Bandit before I got so rudely interrupted with uh, by the Wandering Horde was uh, that Heavy Bandit you can only get out of. There's your uh, Heavy Bandit, but you can only get this out of Trader. So it's like interesting little thing, just for the heck of it, because there's no helmet to the heavy bandit. Throw on SWAT. Yeah, definitely a nice little vibe there. Uh, almost like a Metro vibe if you're familiar with that series. And last but not least, we'll put on. Throw some of this back into the chest. throw on for you guys the the military set military is uh, I believe only from traders and there's your military set let me just take off the old gas gas mask there really nice to uh, and so uh, you know and uh, but if you want to find military armor, though, the best way I've found it is to go to a hub city. Go to a hub city and then look for... Let me just pan over here for where you... If you're not familiar, you know, go zero zero, you'll find hub city. But, uh, go ahead, you know, once you have the firepower to go take down cops and also feral whites. They are the best sources of uh, military armor. They don't always drop it, but it's a very common drop with them. They also drop, uh, like, cops will drop shotguns and pistols, and uh, feral whites will drop uh, sniper rifle parts, and I even think full sniper rifle, AK parts, and magnum parts, and even SMG parts. They're... <laughs> but you'll find military armor on those two types of zombies, and a lot. Throw on the old uh, mining helmet, you know, you get the good old uh, lighting from that. You have a nice uh, little old Myers helmet. Then throw on 
football helmet, you have a nice football helmet. And that's about it for the heavy armor, and that concludes this armor episode. I highly suggest you check out one of my uh, other episodes of uh, Challenge Master, and uh, or maybe even Rufus's Rampage. I, I hope you all like and subscribe, and have a great day.